Adorama TV presents Getting the Shot with Corey Rich. Hi, I'm Corey Rich. Today you're watching Adorama TV. Remember, Adorama is the place to go to buy any of the still photography or video equipment that you might need. Everything on the set today came from Adorama. Today I'm going to talk about how to do a basic lighting setup for a video interview. I'm not going to focus per se on the cameras or the audio techniques or even the philosophy for getting the best answers out of your subject. Today it's really about the lighting. Now you can use any lighting kit that you want or combination of lights that you want, but I've chosen to use the Light Panels Sola ENG Flight Kit. It's a three head kit, so you have three light fixtures, and they fit into a small 1510 Pelican case. Light Panels has actually pre-cut the foam so that you get three stands, three fixtures, and all of the cables for actually powering the heads. Now what I like about the Light Panels kit is that each of the heads is a Fresnel, classic Fresnel style light which means it actually provides really directional light that's incredibly soft. These are LED lights. Now one of the advantages to LED lights is that they don't get hot. So at the end of a shoot you don't touch the Fresnel fixture and then burn your skin off. In fact, as soon as we're done shooting I can put them back in that Pelican case and you're ready to roll, which I like. Oftentimes we're working under real deadline pressure. Time is not a luxury. Additionally, the lights are actually powered either AC or DC, so you can plug them into the wall or you can run off of battery power. The Fresnel enclosures allow us to actually zoom from 50 degrees to 15 degrees, so we can really control that light on our subject. Uh, the dimmable feature of these lights is also pretty powerful, pretty empowering when you're on location. The ability to dim the light from 100% all the way down to zero without altering the color and no noticeable flicker effect, that's a big deal when you're shooting video. You know, light needs to be constant. That's why we call it continuous lighting. Today for this demo, we have professional snowboarder Casey Lucas. She's going to be sitting on this stool. Uh, she's much more enjoyable to look at than me anyhow. And I can then walk around and actually adjust the lights and explain what I'm doing. And uh, believe it or not, I've known Casey since she was 17 years old. Casey, thanks for coming today. It's my fault. Yeah. All right. So Casey, I think I'm just going to have you sit here on the stool. So let's actually spin your legs around so they're kind of facing this way. And torso is going to spin toward this camera that we're talking to. But we're kind of pretending that that camera is actually the interviewer. So you're going to be making eye contact over there. And now the first thing that I do when I walk in to set up an interview is I'll actually pull out my tripod, this Amanfrotto tripod with the fluid head, and I'm using a Nikon D4 with a Nikkor 24 to 70 millimeter lens. Now, I'll try to just build my shot first. I just want to make certain that the background's going to work, that where I'm positioning the subject works, and then I begin building the lights around that initial setup. So it's kind of like in still photography. First, I frame my shot. I press the shutter a few times. I'm, I'm making certain that compositionally it works. And then I'm going to start building my light around this positioning of the tripod and the positioning of the camera. I'm going to give you a bird's eye view on the whiteboard of exactly where I'm positioning the lights relative to the subject to achieve a compelling look for this video interview. I like to start, of course, by just putting our subject right in the middle of the space so that I can really move around the subject. Now remember, the space that we're working with really is just a big black psych is what we call it. It's actually just a space with a black curtain. And we chose this space intentionally so that you could really see what the lights are doing. Now the next thing that I do is I position my camera in front of the subject on a set of tripod legs because we want a stable camera. And now when I'm framing my subject, it's always rule of thirds. So in that rectangle, she's at Casey's positioned to the right side of the frame. The first light that I set up is our key light. Whoops, is our key light. So that's on a stand. And remember, we're going to add some diffusion. We're going to use a soft box, actually. So kind of a, not a gigantic bit of diffusion, but it just softens that light so that it's, as it's hitting Casey, it's really creating softer light. That's our key. Next, we add a light in the back. It's called our back light. We're going to use two barn doors to actually control that light. 
Again, it's really, this is aiming at her shoulders and her head to help separate her from the background. Finally, we're going to add a third light. And this light, really, it's kind of aimed actually that direction. And this is our fill light. This is to just fill in that shadow. So this systematic approach works really well for actually controlling your light. You can really see it. You flip on the key light, boom, beautiful soft light on Casey's face. Flip on the backlight, wow, separation from that black background. Flip on the actual fill light, and all of a sudden we have beautiful fill light. It's the final, final lighting scenario, and it's time to actually start asking some questions. The first light that I'm going to set up is what's called the key. That's going to be the, really the light that's lighting her face. It's that beautiful soft light. It's going to create a catch light in her eyes. And so I'm using, again, their three identical Fresnel light panel LED fixtures. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Now it's 100% adjustable. So I'm going to kind of add a little light. Now that's pretty bright, but there's no diffusion right now. I can tell that that probably is bothering her eyes. So I'm going to cover this for a second as I'm talking. But I can obviously go from 0 to 100% without flicker, and that's a pretty great feature. So with this light panels kit comes this soft box, actually. It folds flat. It's a, a, a very simple, small soft box light modifier. The front, you can actually see there's diffusion. And it snaps onto this fixture very easily. It goes right into the area where the barn door, that little groove that the barn doors fit into. Now I have a much, much softer light source, and I, I'm going to adjust my light. Yep, that looks pretty good. I can also adjust my zoom. And what I'm really interested in is I'm trying to actually light her face. I'm not so concerned about her pants or her torso. I actually want the light to fall off. Now I'm going to start moving around Casey and adding a backlight and eventually a fill light. Okay, so now I've actually moved behind Casey. And we have one more of our ENG heads. So I'm going to go ahead and just power it up and let's see what our light looks like. I'm going to just guesstimate. This is really about lighting her he hair and creating a rim. It's called our rim or our backlight. And now we have these barn doors. And again, this is one using continuous lights that are LED. It's incredible. They're not 1,000 degrees right now. I can actually touch the barn doors with my fingers and sort of make that a narrower shaft of light. We're really shaping and controlling how much light comes out of this head. And I'm going to raise the light here. We're going to go even slightly higher. And I can see right now, that's the beauty of continuous lighting. You know, I'm a guy that comes from still photography. In still photography, you have to fire the strobe, look at the back of the camera. Here I can see it. It's real time. I can see what the light is doing. Now we're going to do, create a little bit of fill light. You can see in our, in our interview shot, the key light is casting a shadow actually on this side, the left side of Casey's face, and so I want to fill that. I don't want that much drama. So what I like to do is actually I'll turn on the light, and I'll just go full power straight away so that I can ratchet it down. That's a lot of power right here. So that's actually overpowering our key, so that's not going to work. So then I'm actually just going to roll this down, and I'm just eyeballing it at this point. I'm just trying to figure out how much fill do I actually want. You know, I want just very subtle, and that's looking pretty good to me right in there. And again, I'm eyeballing it at the beginning, and then I'm going to run to the back of the camera. I check the back of the camera. I come back out. I adjust the light. You know, if you can talk someone into helping you or if you have an assistant, that makes it a lot more efficient. So let's just assume that this is doing a good job at filling the shadow. But remember, I told you I didn't want to light her whole jacket. The focus is really on Casey's face. So I'm going to use these barn doors. I'm going to try to flag the light off of her jacket here. You can see the shadow that this light is creating from my hand. I'm going to bring that barn door up. And look at that. You can see it's just creeping up. I'm creating a shadow, and I'm keeping the focus on Casey's face. So there you have it. Now I've walked you through kind of a three-point light setup. We have a key light with a diffuser on it, which is a soft box, small soft box. We have a backlight, rim light, or you could call it a hair light. And we're using two barn doors to adjust uh, exactly how that light is affecting Casey. And then we just set up our final, our third point, or our third light, which is the fill light. And that's filling in the shadow on the left side of Casey's face. Now, I just showed you really the basics. It's, this is a safe starting point for building a video interview. Experiment is what it's really about. It's about getting out there with your lights, experimenting, having fun, and enjoying the process. So a huge thanks to Casey Lucas. Casey, thank you for uh, being our model. That was, a, that was a super <laughs> fascinating interview. I learned a lot. In the, <laughs> really 
<laughs> but really, I think there's a, there's a point in this. You know, I was able to convince Casey to sit on this stool while I practiced lighting. That's part of your job. It's ideally, don't have your real subject for the interview sitting there for three hours while you figure out the light. That's when you want your friend or you get your spouse or you get your boyfriend or girlfriend, get them in the chair, set up your lights, and then you bring in Casey Lucas because I want her to be fresh when it's actually time to do the interview. Everything that I've described here in this video, you can purchase at Adorama. It's the source for still photography and video equipment, including lighting. So visit Adorama.com, visit CoreyRich.com, and check out our blog if you have questions about the specific gear that I use either on this video or on any of the shoots that I've done. And if you have a question, don't be afraid to send it to us. So tune in next time here on Adorama TV. Thanks for listening. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 8 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.